All right, another game here. I have to move my window a little bit. There we go. Okay. Just played this a little while ago. Me versus Maelstrom Wanderer. My yell 78, some guy I've never played before. Looking at my draw here, it is unkeepable. One of those one of those draws where it would be totally amazing with a second land, but not with just one. Regretfully, we throw it back for a pretty slow hand, but with plenty of blue and green mana, so we're good. Going second. At least he mulliganed as well. Guildgate. Muddle. Kind of good to draw this, actually, given that I have it timing-wise that I can stop the uh, dreaded turn three Cultivate or Kodama's Reach, or even something like Ranger's Path, because everyone knows that Maelstrom Wander is all about ramp. There's right on schedule, Farseek. Cradle. Here. Mog War Marshal. Kind of random. He doesn't have a third land either. Kind of weird to see goblins in Maelstrom Wander. Not really sure what's going on here, but whatever. I'm just going to play that guy. Heartened by the fact that he didn't even have a third land. Maybe he'll pay Echo. Or he didn't have a fourth land. There's a fourth land, though. And Bloodbraid Elf. Hitting. Chromatic Lantern. I see Krenko. Like, what the hell is this deck? Some kind of gruel thing with Maelstrom Wander. Oh, we're just blocking. But I just drew Nature's Claim, and I see a tapped-out opponent. And that means it's Winter Orb time. This card, man. It's so completely insane. So many of my games are just absolutely dominated by Winter Orb. But he's hitting me for five. So we're attacking here. Oh yeah, tapping that guy, of course, just for mana. And I'm going to blow up his Chromatic Lantern to uh, increase the deadliness of Winter Orb. He taps two red, and I'm thinking, what the hell is he going to cast? Ancient Grudge. God, that's horrible. See, I thought about lapsing it, but... Honestly, tapping two mana just to, you know, let him untap his Gruel Gilgate top deck of land and kill my orb just didn't seem worth it. So I was just going to let it go and use the, the laps to stop something on his turn instead. Like Ponder, given that he doesn't have any more land. He <laughs> plus gets Adaptive Automaton. Everyone knows that this guy's got a good place in Maelstrom Wander. So yeah, I don't get his, I don't really get his command, choice of commander at all. I guess he's got blue in the deck for, like, Ponder and stuff, but it seems like going with a red-green commander in the Goblin strategy might be a little bit better, given that it doesn't cost eight. So I'm snapping the Automaton because I kind of actually need to defend against it. I can't just let him have a bunch of 2-2s two when I'm this low in life, actually. So I'm just going to attack and draw a card here. Really have anything going on? There's pondering again. More goblins, so that automaton is even more dangerous, and I'm just drawing land. So now priority is got to keep it out of play. I'm just gonna chill here. I thought about getting forbid because that would at least give me some uh, opportunity to buy back and counter twice. But I really kind of want the opportunity also to counter and tap his guys if that comes up and draw two. So I'm just going to block here because I can just recast my guy truly and I stop taking damage. He taps all that to cast Acidic Slime, which of course gets countered. And now there's no point in, uh, since Edric can attack, there's no point in tapping. I'm just going to draw a card instead since it's the same thing. And that Phantasmal Image is kind of interesting. Deploy those guys and send in the 3-3. Three, three. I'm really hoping, actually, he blocks with all three because of that automaton, and he does, actually. Pretty pretty pleased to do that. Jesus. Siege Gang Commander, more goblins. What a weird deck. I mean, it certainly makes sense why he's got Adaptive Automaton in his deck. I've seen, like, War Marshal and Krenko's Command and Krenko himself and this guy. 
Trinket Mage. Very interesting. That's really cool, actually. The choice here is not particularly tough. It's going to be the Clamp. Because the Clamp allows me to actually get through for some damage here. And protect my guys against the uh, Siege Gang Commander. Because no one wants to block a Jiraga Tree Speaker with Skull Clamp on it. Unfortunately, I can't clamp my druid as much as I'd like to. So I'm just attacking with both here. And again, I'm trying to force a block here. With his automaton, he should probably just take the hit. But he does not. He triples up, losing all of his potentially 2-2 sacking goblins with me at 23 also. And I still get through and get to draw Mox Diamond. Not the most useful thing in the world. I'm just going to recast Edric and clamp the mage. It was very nice to get, be able to get the clamp when um, my opponent was tapped out, of course. I was really hoping he'd forget about his uh, ancient grudge. So he's blowing up the druid, which is fine. Grudging away the clamp, but all he's got is a 2-2, and I top deck regrowth. Perfect, perfect draw right now. Because I'm pretty sure I know exactly what he's going to do. Sure enough, he does it. Blocks Trinket Mage and shoots Edric. And once again, <laughs> level up. He's tapped out. <laughs> and this time, it's for keeps. Game over. It's kind of funny, actually. Just replaying the game, it doesn't really look very close at all. But I gotta say, when I was playing it, it was pretty stressful. I felt like I was kind of getting mana flooded and uh, was just inches away from the game spiraling out of control. But maybe that's just because I'm always really nervous playing against this bullshit commander and its stupid randomness. It's one of my least favorite commanders to face in the format, and probably most of my losses have been to it because it can just be one of those commanders where it, if you don't draw the right combination of counters and disruption and stuff and they just ramp quickly, often you're just left unable to, to do anything to fight it. Anyway, pretty cool game. Not the, uh, not the most pitched battle that I've ever posted, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. See you soon.